Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's painting was quite a challenge to complete. When I first took this on, I knew it required a little bit of an engineering mind. Where do I start? Or most importantly, how do I even begin? Because there were a lot of layers to this, and the tricky part about painting in impasto style is that you need to do all the blending while the paint is still wet and fresh. Once it's hardened, it's hard to apply paint across the rough surface with a knife, and even tougher to cover up mistakes. There's a lot of depth and layers into this painting, from the lanterns in the background, along the lights, and then the wooden barrier in front and finally the sakura flowers in the foreground. It took a bit of time to figure out which part I wanted to start with, and slowly work my way to the front. An initial layer of colour mapping wasn't too encouraging either. This is what they meant by trust the process, and I actually have trust issues, so I would say that I jumped in with blind faith for this. A little on the painting. The backdrop looks pretty Japanese, but red lanterns actually originated from China. Red is a symbol of prosperity, luck, wealth, and is believed to ward off evil. Even the stock market there is in reverse, so if you trade in China, don't be so happy if you see your stocks in green. It's the opposite there, and red means gain, and green equals losses. But aside the joyous celebrations associated with like the Great Lantern, there is also a subtler story that has become intertwined with the lanterns. The story is known as The Legend of the Milky Way. It's a tale of forbidden love and eternal separation. Here's a retelling of the story. Long ago in ancient China, there lived a young cowherd named Niu Lang, which means cowherd in Chinese. Niu Lang was a kind-hearted and hard-working man who lived a simple life tending to his cattle. However, he often felt lonely and longed for companionship. In the heavens, there resided the beautiful weaver girl, Sinu, which means weaver girl in Chinese. Sinu was the seventh daughter of the celestial emperor and possessed exceptional weaving skills. She spent her days weaving colourful clouds in the sky alongside her sisters. One fateful day, Sinu caught sight of Niu Lang from above and was captivated by his sincerity and kindness. She decided to descend the earth and experience life as a mortal. Disguised as a young woman, Sinu encountered Niu Lang by a river and they fell deeply in love. They soon got married and lived a happy life together, blessed with two children. However, the Celestial Emperor soon learned of Xenos' disobedience and ordered her to return to the heavens. The Emperor saw the union between a mortal and an immortal as a violation of heavenly law and decided to separate the couple. Xenu tearfully bid farewell to Niu Lang and their children, promising to find a way to reunite with him. She returned to the heavens where she was forced to continue her duties as a weaver girl. Devastated by the loss of his beloved wife, Niu Lang was left to raise the children alone. He was determined to be reunited with Xenu and sought the help of an old cow which was actually disguised as a celestial being. The old cow advised Niu Lang to kill him and wear his hide as a disguise to enter the heavens. Following the cow's advice, Niu Lang journeyed to the heavens with his two children. However, just as he was about to reach Xenu, the celestial empress, furious at the audacity, drew a silver river known as the Milky Way between Niu Lang and Xenu, forever separating them. Heartbroken, Niu Lang and his children wrapped on the banks of the Milky Way. Their tears moved the magpies who took pity on them and formed the bridge with their wings, allowing the family to reunite briefly on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month every year. This day is now known as the Qi Si, the Chinese Valentine's Day or the Magpie Festival. On this day, people make wishes for love and happiness and young girls pray for weaving skills similar to Xenu. People hang red lanterns to guide the couple's reunion, lighting up the path of the Magpie Bridge across the Milky Way. I thought it was an interesting story to share. Also, it's a good filler to stretch the voice over a little. Anyway, I hope you like this painting. It's a tad bit different from my usual styles and definitely a fun challenge. And so without further ado, let's begin.
sin.